Watch you guys got another video here for you. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at 10 Chrome extensions you should have right now and you should be using. Now, these can help speed up productivity and also be very useful for when you want to do certain things like, say, full page screen capture like this one here. There's a lot of people using it. I've got it installed already. You can get them from the Chrome Web Store. They're free to download and install. But when you're on a web page and you've got an article that you want to read or save, you can go up to the top right hand side and click on the full page screen capture icon here. A little Pac-Man icon will go across the screen as you can see here and it's collecting all that information. Now it will put it into another browser here as an image and you'll be able to zoom in and read it at your own leisure. If you want to download it as a PDF file you can do that and save it for future reference or read it offline and these can be very useful if you've got a useful uh, type of article that you use all the time and you want to save it and you can save them to your flash drive or to your computer and read them at your own leisure and also you've got all the ability to zoom in here print it from here so if you want to zoom in you just zoom right in and you'll be able to read that article just like so very simple and easy to do but I do like this feature because it's very useful uh, at saving certain articles that you may uh, like but you can never find again once you've uh, formatted your system. It's got a bunch of other features up the top here as well, which you can use. It's a little options area here. You've got your history here as well and your options. You can change it to uh, PNG to JPEG if you wish to do that. And you've also got your directory to save them in. And that's pretty much it. Next up, we're taking a look at Giphy. Now Giphy is like a, a little add-on which you can add to your browser. If you um, use forums or any sort of post boards or discord or something like that, people like to put memes or animated GIFs in there. And by uh, clicking on this up the top here, this allows you to get access to all the animated GIFs all in one place. And uh, you can quickly copy these. And uh, this is very useful for people that like to use this sort of stuff. So you can see here, go into the categories here, reactions, emotions, actions, animals, cele celebrities, TV, movies, music, and popular. You can see here. So this gives you another load of stuff inside here, which you can just click on. Or you can just do a search for a certain term, say pizza. Do a search for that, and up comes all the pizza um, animated GIFs. So it's very easy to use. Now to click on these, all you need to do is just click on one of the icons that you want to use or one of the images. Let's say this one and it will give you a link. Then you just copy the link like so and post that wherever you like. And it's very quick and easy to do. You don't have to go to a website. It's right there as an extension in your browser. Next up, we're going to be taking a look at Pixlr today. And this one is a very useful uh, add-on for your browser. Now, once you've got this installed, there's a lot of people that are using this. It's quite nice. Uh, but basically, when you go up here, I'll just do a quick uh, showing of it here. I'm going to go to New Tab, and it will open up a new tab, and you'll see straight away you're going to have Pixlr here. You can just go into whatever you want, say, for instance, Editor. And what this will do is open up the Editor and allow you to edit images or create images or whatever it is you want to do. And it's really quick and easy to use, as you can see here. I'm just going to quickly create one here just to show you. I'm not going to go into too much detail here, but you've got the access to all the features here, which you may want to uh, use. You've got your paint, you've got your brush, pencil, text. You can create little images here very quickly without having to install any software. It's running from your browser, very simple and easy to use. If you like free software and you don't want to pay for anything, you can see here, you can use this and do all sorts of stuff here. Very useful and easy to do, and it's free to use as well. And I find it quite useful to have. You can save this and export it and all your usual stuff, print it from here. There's loads more you can do with Pixlr. It's a very powerful tool. So let's take a look at another extension called Mercury Reader. Now, Mercury Reader is a very useful tool uh, if you like to read articles online. What this can do is clean up that article and make it much more easier to read. You've got adverts on here. You've got a bunch of other stuff that's sort of making the article difficult to read. All you need to do is go up to the top here where it says Mercury Reader and uh, enable it 
and it will start analyzing the article and remove any of the information that's not meant to be there and just get it back to the basic article which is what you're trying to read which makes it very difficult when you're looking at a very busy site uh, with loads of adverts and stuff on it so just click start using mercury reader you can turn it on and off and you can see here it's cleaned it all up and you can now just see the article and you'll be able to read that article and also print it and save it as a PDF or whatever it is you want to do which is very useful because you can then use the full page screen capture to capture the article now this next one is called Grammarly now if you're not a very good speller or good at punctuation like me then this is a must-have what it can do is you can install it on Windows as well uh, or you can use it in the browser extension form now once you've got this installed anytime you type out any information or anything like that if you've misspelt words or poor punctuation what it's going to do is detect uh, those words so let me type out something that's incorrect here just to see how well it works so you can see here I've spelt hello wrong and uh, spelt name wrong and also the name Jim's wrong it's not got a capital and you can see here it will basically give you a bunch of words with lines under them and all you need to do is right click and choose the word you want to use whether it be this or these and you can see here capital found the word name and hello very simple it will also detect your punctuation you can see you should have a comma here and it will put all this in the correct order and it can actually give you a choice of words to use which is very useful for people that aren't great at spelling or great at um, putting punctuation in and stuff like that. I like to use it quite a lot, especially if I'm typing a letter out or something like that. It can be very, very useful. You can print, download, copy to clipboard, do all your usual stuff. You can even add it into your Windows operating system, which will then uh, help you when you're using Word and other types of um, programs as well. It's a very useful program to have, and uh, I use it quite a bit. So that is the uh, Grammarly and another one which is hover zoom which is another great little uh, extension now if you're like me that you like to look for images uh, like wallpapers and stuff like that well when you go searching for say for instance wallpapers uh, clicking on them can take a bit of time but what this um, zoom does is it allows you to zoom without having to click on the image itself and it will zoom at the correct size of the image itself without having to click on it so when you're searching for that particular type of wallpaper or image this is very quick and it speeds up productivity as you can see here I'm not having to click on anything just hover over it and it will um, enlarge that image to the correct size and you'll be able to see the detail and it saves you having to click on the web page which sometimes takes ages to load or just speeds just speeds up the whole process I like it a lot very useful little extension to have the next one is honey this one can save you money and it's a very good extension to have uh, if you've not heard of it before you can see there's a ton of users that are using it basically what it will do is it will find coupon codes for products that you want to buy online now you can actually go searching through these sites there's a ton of sites that it supports and basically it will give you coupon codes uh, which are active which will give you discounts so rather than you go searching for a coupon code if you like using coupon codes then this will be a quick and easy way to get coupon codes for websites which are active and they are working and it will give you savings so if you're looking for a pair of headphones you can look on there and it will tell you whether there's any coupon codes uh, for them headphones on that site very simple and easy to do you can see here it does work in America as well works across the globe and you'll get coupon codes here which you can use to get discounts very useful to have and uh, it's a very simple and easy process now as you can see here I'm just looking at the actual website itself but if I was to go onto the website and look for an item itself it will then tell me whether there is a discount coupon code for that uh, item now next up we've got loom video recorder this will record your um, screen your desktop screen your webcam and your mic if you wish and it's great for putting little snippets of video recordings onto your website or maybe emails and stuff like that you can see here up the top right hand side you've got all the information you need here to do full desktop recordings you can start recordings and also adding your microphone and your camera you can see here works very simple 
and if you want to post in there a little bit of information say for instance a little bit of a tutorial on showing someone how to record something you can use this method so I'm looking at Pixlr here and I'm just quickly showing you how to record the screen so the screen is being recorded there we go that's starting to be recorded now you can see here I can move around this um, camera here this will be a picture of you or video of you and you can basically show people how to do stuff very quickly and you can add this to your website for free and it will be very useful uh, at showing people how to do certain stuff so it's a great little uh, screen capture also as your micro captures your microphone and your uh, webcam and all you need to do is stop recording this will then be copied and uh, it will then go to here so you can say I'll explore this on my own it's just because it wants to show me the tutorial and there you can see here there is the actual uh, video that I've just created very quick and easy to do and this could be great for podcasting or webinars or some sort of tutorial that you want to show someone maybe you want to show someone how to connect via remote um, desktop or something like that and you can quickly show them a setting here email it to them and it will show them how to do it you can make loads of little tutorials on here as well very useful and easy to do share them on discord whatever it is you want to use it for is very useful you can got your settings here you got your trim you got your call to action and you've got your comments and a bunch of other stuff on here it's quite useful and uh, if you want to learn more about it let me know in the comment section below and I'll do a complete tutorial on it but it's a very useful thing to use and uh, you can just copy the link up the top there and send that to someone or you can even embed it into emails next up we've got Panda 5 now Panda 5 is basically a newsreader this is a great extension for people that like to keep up to date with all the latest news feeds that are going on on certain websites so you can put them down on the left hand side here all your favorite uh, sites that you like to read on a regular basis and it will tell you when they've released a new article and stuff like that and you can keep up to date with it you can see here you can type in your website uh, name or topic or url you can add them in or remove them and just make it your own so it gives you a few to start off with but you can remove a lot of these and put in your own websites that you want to use on a regular basis these are sort of the default ones here uh, but you can change them up and the way you do that basically you can put in a link up the top here and it will search for that website and once it's found the website you can see it here it will allow you to preview it or add it to your little list now you can see it's down the bottom here so that's my RSS feed and I can now click on here and it will show me all the latest tutorials that have been released and you can basically click on these and read them it's that simple and it saves you having to go on Google search for stuff for many hours you can go to certain sites that you like to read on a regular basis the good thing about this you can use your other extensions to clean this all up and read it at your own leisure so you can use all these in conjunction with each other that's why I've selected them all the way that I've uh, shown you here it's very simple and easy to do so basically I can clean this up now as you can see here I've now got a perfectly um, saveable uh, type of article which I can then save for later on now save to pocket is another great little extension that I wanted to show you here now what this allows you to do is save certain articles or certain um, websites to your pocket and it's very simple and easy to do let me show you how it works so I can go to here if I wish and then go up to uh, save to pocket so let's say I want to save this article to read it a little bit later on all I need to do here is go up to uh, page save or save to pocket and it will then give us me an option to put in a tag here so just put in whatever tag you want here and it's a great way for saving little articles that you may want to read a little bit later on you've not got the time to read it right now so you can just put a little tag in there so once you've got that saved you can open up your browser at any time here and you will see an option here to open up your projects list or your list of uh, pages that you've been saving for reading later on and of course once you open this up here you'll see them listed here and you can see my list and these are all the pages that you may have been saving to read and of course you can then read them at your own leisure now click on these and it will open them up like so you can do whatever you like from here you can print it out you can uh, keep it save it 
delete it, whatever you want to do, but you can read it at your own leisure. So you haven't got time to read it uh, back then. You can see here we've got some other features here like favorites, edit image, and also a bunch of other stuff here. And if you want to remove them, you can remove them from your list once you're finished with them and you can set them out how you like. Very simple and easy to do. And it's a great way of keeping articles that you are reading or what you're going to read that later on that day. You can put them in a favorite section and stuff like that. Pretty simple and easy to use. Very useful little uh, extension. Anyway, they all sort of work with each other. So it's a great little extension list there. I hope this one's been useful to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Have a great day and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank <laughs> you.